Hi guys, come on in. Welcome back to At Home with Charlize. A few days ago, I did a video showing you how I apply my Impress Press-On Nails and how much I love, love, love those nails. And so I thought I would come back and give you an update on how long I was able to wear them and how I removed them. Okay, let's do it. I'm starting in, let's see, I I think I was 18 days in when I started this video. I'm on day 18 of the manicure that I did with these Impress Press-On Nails. And I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you see what it looks like in 18 days. That's over two weeks now. Look at that. They've grown away from my cuticles somewhat. Okay. And in that eight day period, 18 day period, this thumbnail is the only one that came off. And I just uh, put it back on with some nail glue. All right. I mean, that looks pretty good. If it were not for the fact that it's growing away from my cuticles like that, you know, it doesn't look real good when it's spaced out like that. Let me show you the other hand. All right. Same thing. And this is technically, let's see. Yeah, it's actually... Three days shy of being three weeks. Oops. I see a, a hair or something. Anyway, that's what it's looking like, guys. I really like these press-on nails. Yep, that one's looking kind of, you know, it's starting to come away from the sides and the cuticles. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and do another manicure. Now, I'm torn as to what I'm going to do. And the reason that I'm torn, normally what I do is when I take off my press off nails, I leave them off for a week or two to give my nails a break. Um, but... You know, there's 30 nails that come in this kit. So there's enough in here that I could do another manicure. And I really do like this design. But I was in, um, where was that? Ross. I think it was Ross. Let me look. Is it up here? Yeah. I was in Ross the other day. And I, I, I wasn't looking for this, but I stumbled across it. And it's a press-on nail removal kit. And I've never used anything like this. And to be perfectly honest, you don't really need this, I don't think. But I picked it up and I thought I'd give it a try. Because normally the uh, when I just pop the nails off, there's always some residue. The glue residue left that's kind of hard to get off. So I may or may not use this with my necks before I, um, when I take these nails off. But if I do, I'll come back and I'll show you how it works. I'm back on day 21. Yes, day 21. And I lost two nails today. And I decided not to um, uh, use my nail glue to put them back on because I'm definitely not going to go past three weeks. But I just want to let you see what they look like on day 21 you see how how far they've grown out and this one came off today and this one came off today but that's ooh yeah that right hand is really looking ragged but anyway so you see they actually stayed on for 21 days for the most part and I did not baby them I washed dishes I mop the floor, you know, did, did all the housework things, um, shower, uh, tub baths, everything. 
And I do believe that the key to making your press on nails stay on um, have to do with the, uh, the, the process that I use to um, apply my nails. And I will try to remember to link that video, um, how to apply press on nails, I think it was. But there are a couple of things that you need to do in pr preparing your nails to put the, the press on nails on <clears throat> to make them stay a long time. But anyway, I told you I found this uh, kit at uh, Ross and that I was considering trying it. And the instructions on the back, it's very faint, but let's see, it says dip the, dip the nail tissue into the press on remover solution and wrap around finger. Place a, um, a reusable nail cap over the tissue. Repeat until all fingers are covered with nail caps. After 20 minutes, remove the nail caps and tissues from your fingers. Wash hands with warm soapy water and rinse clean. Use the cuticle pusher to remove any remaining product on nails. And guys, I promise you, I can read. But this, can you see how faint that is? That white on pink was not a good idea. But anyway, we read the instructions. And I'd opened the box and looked at it. And let me show you what we're working with. Okay, this is the the remover solution. And to me, it smells like nail polish remover, to be perfectly honest. And then you have these little caps that you put over each finger. That's neat. Okay. And then here are the tissues that you're going to put on, put the solution on and then wrap it around your finger, I guess. All right. I'm going to try this. I'm just going to do uh, a few of them on camera and then I'll come back because I'm definitely not going to be on here 20 minutes. Um, but I'll come back after the 20 minutes and show you what it looks like. Okay, so let me put this down so I don't make too much of a mess on my desk here. Okay, and like I said before, guys, I assure you, you, you this is not something that you absolutely need because these nails will, they will just pop off. But I'm wondering if this doing it this way will get that um that nail glue off of your uh nails better because when you just pop them off there's always that residue left behind so okay so we're going to squeeze let's see is there it's not coming out so does that mean that there's something else and oh maybe this comes does this come all the way off uh, okay, it doesn't have, I don't think it comes all the way off. Whoa. Oh. Let me see. Wait a minute. That's, well, oh. Sorry, guys. All right, maybe I should take it all the way off. You see that? I guess, well, that's what we're doing anyway. Okay, it looks like it should, you know, because it's got that hole in the top that you should be able to just unscrew it to a, to a point and then just squeeze it out to come through that hole. To me, it seems like that's the way it should work. Let's see. Let's see if anything's going to come out. Nope, nothing's coming out, so... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh -huh. Okay, operator error. Yeah, this stuff smells, um, smells like nail polish remover. All right, let's see. Let's see if it works now. Yep. Okay, so I take this and wrap it around my nail. And then, 
take one of these caps and I guess that's going to hold a solution. <laughs> okay, wrap it around. Okay, make sure that's good and wet. Let's get the second one up there. <laughs> Fancy. How's did I, did I say how's everybody doing? I don't know, cause the other clip that I did was uh, what three days ago. Uh, but anyway. How's everybody doing today? I've had a rather productive day. Yeah. Got some things accomplished around the house. That's one thing about um, around your home. There is always something to do. And we can choose not to do it, but... There's always something to do. That is for sure. Okay, I got four fingers. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just I'm gonna do this hand and then I'm gonna go off camera and finish. And I'll come back. Um after the 20 minutes is up, okay. Yeah. I tell you, I am convinced that this is just nail polish remover. Okay, guys. Look at me. How fancy. Is this what they do in the nail salons? Do they put these kind of caps on? Of course, this is a press on for press on nails. This is not like taking off gel nails. All right, I'll be back. Okay. I waited the 20 minutes with the uh, the caps on and then I took them off and washed my hands in warm soapy water just like the instructions said and the one thing that I can say that it did it softened the press on nails made them more pliable um, but it still left some of the glue residue behind um, I mean, I guess it works, but for my money, I just as soon do what I've been doing and just pop them off. It's much quicker. You're not sitting there for 20 minutes waiting for those nails to soften. And after you've had them on for two or three weeks, they're going to pop right off. But my thought was that maybe um, this solution would get rid of the uh, the glue residue. Um, and maybe it got rid of some of it, but not enough for me to do this again or to buy this again. And it also said to take, um, this stick to remove any glue that's left behind. Nah, that's way too much. I can just pick it off. Okay, guys, my phone cut off on me. It's been doing some weird stuff. I know it's because it's time to buy a new phone, but anyway, um, bottom line is this was a no for me, so I won't be doing this again, but I love, love, love. I still love the impress nails, so I'll be continue to do those, but I won't, I won't be taking them off with this. So down in the description box, guys, if you've done, if you've used something like this, use this or something like this, tell me what your experience was and maybe I would, I did something wrong. Um, I even thought maybe I was supposed to take the nails off and then they it was just supposed to uh, dissolve the glue. But it, it says that it is a press-on nail removal kit. So, I don't know. Anyway, this is a no. And I think that's all I have for you today. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.